Hey everybody, Shandon here. Today we're talking with my good friend Brooke Prasita, who's visiting us from New York City. Brooke is a career consultant who spends a lot of time with actors, preparing them for both performance and auditions. Say you're going to take the plunge and actually start self-taping your own auditions and not paying for it. What does every actor need, equipment-wise, in their toolbox in order to have a successful self-tape audition? Super simple, easy, standard answer across the board. You need a clean background. A lot of times we use a blue background. If you go into a casting office, they often have the blue screen behind you. Um, it just kind of makes everybody's skin look good and kind of makes everybody pop. It's a nice, neutral, uh, universal color, I should say. Okay. It's sort um, of become the standard. Yeah, at this it's point. been it's the standard. But if you do not have a blue wall or a blue screen um, at your house, a clean background. You don't want like you know curtains and your you know painting you did when you were seven hanging in the background. Really, really important. You need to make sure you're well lit. I can't tell you how many submissions I receive for things that I produce where people are literally lit from behind. Yeah. And you might not even know what I'm talking about right now. Like people don't even think about this. That's so true. You know, you just think I'm in a well lit room, but the window's behind me. So you either need to purchase some lighting that is going to light your face evenly or you need to stand in front of a large window so I can see your eyes, I can see your features, I can see your facial expressions, I can feel your emotion. That's what is happening. You know, we don't care what your hair looks like that day. Yeah. And it's, you know, I don't need the silhouette of you. I need to see what's happening in here. So lighting, not, you know, we'll put a link to some of these materials that you can buy, but you can buy those little lights now that, you know, go around the cell phone or, but you can also buy, yeah, like a ring light. Yeah, like a ring light, but you can buy cheaper, you know, stand up lights that are just soft boxes that yeah. light and they're anywhere from 50 to 200, you know, depending on what you want to spend, which is nothing compared to what you will spend at repeatedly paying somebody for a self tape. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, there's the lighting, then there's the sound. If I can't hear you, what's the point? So you need to be mic'd. When you put something on tape, you have a script in front of you. You have what are called sides, and that is a piece of the script. So it's a scene from the script. Generally with two or more people, somebody else has to be doing all the other voices, you mm -hmm. know? You have to be heard, but one of the biggest pet peeves of casting directors is when the reader you know, you're over here going, but I don't want to go. I, I said, and then the reader's like, but you said it would, and all you can hear is the reader screaming in the background. It's just distracting and it just ruins everything. So. Yeah, and you, sometimes it's not even intentionally. You're, you're just saying that the reader is sometimes too, is, well, the they're reader closer is close to the, to the source yeah. of what's miking. So you have to get one of these that mics you where you're at as opposed to over at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that would be another piece of equipment. The mic. Yeah. These are so cheap. You can get them on Amazon. These are cheap. They're 20 bucks. It actually plugs right into the iPhone. Yeah. Boom. Done. I just want to mention one more thing that you need in conjunction with a camera. It is best if you don't have someone holding it, like your mom or your neighbor, because it gets shaky. You absolutely should have a tripod, something to stabilize it so that we are seeing just a clear, nice, focused image of you rather than it shaking all around and distracting us. What if you put it on selfie mode and you like hold it like this while you're acting? Do you think that's a good idea? No, I don't think that's a good idea. However, I have myself in the past put it up on a bookshelf yeah. with a mirror, you know, a window behind it. So you don't have to have somebody holding it, but that's if you are just doing something where it doesn't require a second voice. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You just need a, a stable camera. You just need it to be so stabilized. So you don't necessarily need a tripod, but you do need it to be in a position where it's flattering to you, right. but it's not gonna shake and it's not gonna move. Yeah, you can also just flip your laptop open and use that camera as well. Oh, that's a great idea. A lot of casting directors will ask you to fully memorize. They say, please, please have her off book, which if you don't know what off book is, it means do not be reading from a script. I just wanna talk about holding the pages sometimes can create sound mm -hmm. and be really distracting, especially, the, especially the if the mic is here and your pages are here. So what I like to do is I put up my laptop for actors and I put it next to the camera, which is where we'll talk about eyeline and everything. But so I would also say a laptop or an iPad is really helpful to have up where you can see your lines and you don't have to be looking down at a script. Sort of a do-it-yourself Super helpful, exactly. Yeah.